Well, got my fish in, cleaned up, patted them dry. Ain't nobody but me here today eating, because uh, everybody else at the campground, they went camping for Easter, and I come back a little early, so. Got uh, a little bit of Piedmont's Cajun Shake. Probably the best seasoning made. Piedmont's Fish Fry, I just put it in a regular Ziploc bag instead of sitting there and rolling around in a bowl and breading it like everybody else does. I like to keep it simple. I just basically put it in there and shake it up. Put a little Piedmont's in here. Don't really have to have it with Piedmont's Fish Fry because uh, pretty much well seasoned and ready to go. All you do is drop your fish in there and fry it up. Got my oil over here hot. Got it ready to go. So we're going to fry it up. Give me a little bite to eat. Don't get much fresher than this. That's flopping on the line about two or three hours ago. So I know I'm making a mess. But generally when you make a mess, it tastes good. all it takes right there. Get them good and breaded. And drop them in the grease. Don't take very long. Fish cooks quick. Especially a white fish like this. Real white meat. Channel cap. Make sure to clean them up real good. Cut all the red out of them. When I'm talking about cutting the red out of them, there's a bud line in these fish. Usually right down the center. And there's a bud line right next to the skin. Some real red stuff. If you wonder what that fishy taste is, you get some time or slimy taste when you go to a restaurant. It's usually what it is. They didn't take the time to clean the fish right. They cook a bunch of it, so they end up skipping a few steps, I guess you could say. But I'm gonna let that fry up. Out of there with. I guess I could have done that before, ain't it? Anyway, they're getting all gold and brown. It won't be long. I'm going to take them out of here and like to set them on a napkin. Soak that extra grease up and drips off of them. Really, I always use a cast iron pot. I guess it's a southern thing. I don't know. But uh, you get a good season when you ain't got to worry about nothing sticking. Cold, good temperature gets hot quick and stays that way so keep moving around a little bit keep them sticking to each other it's about where I like them so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of here that grease grip off. Ain't nothing quite like fresh caught catfish. Funny thing about it is I hadn't baited these lines in probably three or four weeks. I went back to bait them actually and had had these fish on there, and actually the limb line I put out had a fish on it too, so I guess it was a bonus. I was expecting to bait them up and maybe go check them in the morning and have a few fish on it, but uh, turns out I already had some fish, so that worked out good. Got me a good supper. I'm going to sit down and enjoy it here in a minute. Take a look at it right there. White 
Flanky meat. Crispy. Gonna be good.